Welcome back guys. So I'm pretty much jumping straight back into chapter four um, of the game. So we've uncovered a lot of information on Typhon and none of it's good. Lena Clark is the new Dr. Evil. Um, she clearly runs the show, has no moral fiber whatsoever. She took the call. Um, and even though Diane insisted upon it, you know, nothing was, they didn't, they didn't postpone the blast because of whatever cover up is going on with whatever something is, there's something they're clearly trying to literally cover up. It's not just covering up the death and covering up um, everything that they've done so far, but they're covering up using an old mine shaft, some stuff that they want to hide, which could be, I don't know, radioactive waste or it could be dead bodies. It could be anything. It's uranium, wasn't it, that they mined, he said, Gabe. So it feels like they're just trying to use it as maybe a dumping ground for something, maybe. I don't know. That's, that's a theory. Yeah. And then we've got this love triangle going on now with Alex, Steph and Ryan. I didn't see the thing with Steph happening, actually, because I assumed... I mean, not that she couldn't be bi, obviously, but I assumed that because she was in love with Gabe, that she wouldn't have necessarily jumped so quickly into fancying Alex. Um, I saw the Alex and Ryan thing happening early on with the whole like record store moment at the beginning, um, but I didn't see the other coming. Um, so we'll see what happens there. Oh, and we've also got um, Charlotte blaming everyone, but also feeling like she absolutely despises and hates her own son. And we chose not to remove her anger. Um, though I don't know why we couldn't have tried to have calmed her down like we have with everyone else so far. We just were like, oh, no, we're not going to take her anger. I'm going to leave you. See you later. Bye. Don't know why that had to happen. Um, you know, there's a difference between taking someone's emotion and actually helping them through the emotion, which is what she's been doing so far. So why was it suddenly? Um, oh, yeah, no, never mind. You've either one or the other. Okay, whatever game. Right, so... <laughs> onwards. It is so warm in here. I'm so sad. <laughs> I thought that said something else then. <laughs> flicker. <laughs> I'm so glad that said flicker. Okay. Pike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Pike fancies Diane. Citizen and I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket. We are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care, and an even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. Oh, we got to give a rose to who we fancy. Oh, Christ. She got a skirt on. For now, a short, short I'll grab skirt. the USB stick. I don't think we should trust... Um, there's a pressed rose on the wall. I don't think we should trust... Pike. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? He must have got a rose from Charlotte. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. Don't worry. I'll come back to you. Oh, it's because she got a skirt on. Ha! Right, um... Guitar... I'm just not sure. Can we change again? I will get the USB stick. No, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. Cool. Could we change the t-shirt? 
Oh my goodness. Well, I do like that, actually. That is a cool look. Oh, do we want to be a tiger? Ha! <laughs> Jane Doe. Uh, I quite like Jane Doe. Should we go Eye of the Tiger? It's the thrill of the fight. No, I'm going Jane Doe. I like the irony of it. Right, USB stick. I hope okay. you've made copies. Time to head downstairs. I really hope you've made copies. Don't apologise. Are you joining us this evening? Yes. This is one party I'm willing to brave. Ha, huh, we'll make it as painless as possible. Ethan. Uh, enjoy the Spring Festival. Wish I could be there, but at least I'm getting crazy good work done on the next thing or call it comic. Spike's the king of demons. Cool. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, see, there's just so much. Right, let's head downstairs. What's this letter? The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Oh, bless him. Cutie pie. I'm not putting that on again. <laughs> let's go. Pink trainers to match. Amazing. I do like her shawl collection. It's just basically trainers in every colour. Oh, sneakers. Oh, we've got to give someone a rose, haven't we? Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy shit! You own a skirt? Ha! <laughs> hey guys. I got my legs out. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. God. He'll be here soon. Awkward. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence not. the celebration. You're literally giving I think it to... we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Need help setting up. Who's playing? Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I bet we can't hear the music and it I will have be to like... run back to the trailer. Again. <laughs> Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. Yeah, I don't know if we'll I be able to hear the music. Rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Oh god, I'm gonna have to anyway, away, right? Time to enjoy the festival. Is my phone going off now? Get off. Find roses. Explore the festival, find roses. See, I just think that if you did need to give um, that USB stick to anyone, it wouldn't be Pike. I would take it higher. I would take it to the inspection company that, you know, because I just don't know. I don't know. I, I think Pike is noble, possibly, but I don't think he's got it in him. He might be bribe worthy as well. We don't know him and we don't know enough of him. Right, so we can take one for someone special. Oh Two-faced bitch. Our conversation earlier, it was great to get to know you better. Thinner coffee single on repeat. It's Mac. Like we need to tell him about month. the call. Oh god, it's so good. Probably need as many people as we can behind us. Even if he is a shit scared little what's it. I heard the call. And I wanted to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down, the whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. And 
I still got plenty of bills to pay. Oh. Are you going to turn evil? You can do better. Come on, Mac. Even you're too good to work for them. <laughs> it's always flattering to see how much you care about me. No wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Ugh. <sighs> There's the Mac I know. <laughs> Gross. Take it easy, dude. Yeah. You too. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight. But I haven't Let's seen her this. around. Where is she? <gasps> Has she been spied on and taken down? I don't want to look at an empty keg. Right, can we run? Oh, yay! I'm walking like really slowly for no reason. Sorry, guys. I forget sometimes. No. This isn't Far Cry. We can't just get on it. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. Hey, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Joe, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. But you had to go and make a scene, didn't you? You just had to. I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. What happened to the bouncy castle? That would have been the best bit. Right, I think we need to take a flower, don't we? Festival spread. Oh, Eleanor, hello. So then, where's the after party this year? After God. party? I just hope Riley Come is on. doing all right. Young man oh, no. like yourself. You what must happened? know what, happened what the haps is. New dialogue. I'm getting pretty bushed. Hi, Eleanor. Breaking in here, sorry. Rude. Good evening, dear. Where's Riley? Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. Does she not get in? That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. Well, we know there is. I better get going. Can we read her again? Uh, everything's set. Meet me at the stage. On my way. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. You too. I better head back. All right, let's give him a flower. Limited supply. Oh God, we got the rose. Hey, Ryan, I have something for you. <gasps> she loves me. Alex. I wasn't mentally prepared for that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic reply. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. That was Actually, awkward. I've got something for you too. Think we could meet up after the show? Of course. All right, well, um, this is pretty much set. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Who's playing? You are. Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? You do. Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss out. 
Just don't do it. <laughs> Absolutely Woodworth. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. I this hope is this is going to be, be awesome. silent. Trust it's me. It's going to be silent. I'll cut it um, if it's not funny. <laughs> we've never played together before, and uh, I'm totally scared. Anyway, sorry if this sucks. <laughs> Wait, <to> intro. <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> it is like silent. It's not me. I'm not a whiz at editing like that. All the background people chatting, but <laughs> no music. Look at all doing this. All right, guys, I'll cut it to the end because I couldn't skip it last time, so I'm pretty sure I can't skip it this time. Yay! And the miming contest goes to... Oh, angry Charlotte. At least Ethan's with his dad. <laughs> She's not come out with blood on her hands. I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really. Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. <laughs> I wish... There's still time, me too. There's still time. Maybe. I guess we'll see. Zen moment. I mean, she's being a bit out of order. Again, the anger she's feeling for Ethan. I, I mean, I know it sounds horrible, is warranted because he was where he shouldn't have been. All she was doing was trying to save Ethan's life, same as Gabe. So it's really not fair for her to say that just because she turns up, all this shit happened. Because if she hadn't turned up, you wouldn't have known that Ethan was going up into the mountains and he will likely have been dead along with Ryan and Gabe when they went to look for him when they did find out what he'd done. So. Hey. You okay? No. But. Well, you know. Yeah, now. No, I don't. I'm gonna go home. I probably get shit faced on drink. Oh, okay. Can you meet me on the rooftop? I want to show you something. Meet Ryan on the rooftop. Sounds like Ryan wants to meet me on the rooftop. Was that something just I'm sure I saw something flicker. Let's go. Right. 
I'm really not going to do Jed's crown. I'm not going to do any dirty dishes. Let's go. We've got to find out what Ryan wants to show us. <laughs> Are you going to make me go all the way up through the apartment? Good. He's done the weeding for us. <laughs> Ta-da! It, it, it's a it's tree. A tree. <laughs> I can see that. Thank you, wilderness expert. I was more wondering why. My mom used to get insomnia when I was a kid. She'd drive over here to the lantern, three in the morning, to work in the garden. <laughs> Sometimes she'd take me with her. Three in the morning? Bitch. <laughs> it's always been a special place for me. I hope it can be for you too. I should have been taking better care of it. Yeah, sorry. Come on. You've had other stuff to worry about. Like totally killing that set. <laughs> You're such a rock star. Thanks. For everything. I had fun. So did the audience. You know they're going to make you do it again next year, right? You you good? You thinking is she still going to be yeah, here? Yeah, fine. Guess I've just been too wrapped up to think about what the future looks like. <laughs> okay. So let's think about it. Alex's future in Haven Springs. The major motion picture. The ride. On ice. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. He's gonna show you. <laughs> Sorry. It's morning. Chilly. You can see your breath. You're walking down Main Street on the way to work. Where? The Black Lantern. The Lantern. Okay. Kind of a safe choice, but I get it. So after work. Sun's still up for another couple hours. It's warm now. You're carrying your jacket under your arm. What's the plan? A guitar or a hike? I mean, I'm gonna go hike. Maybe I'm all outdoorsy now. A real Colorado girl. Up in the mountains with one of those little stabby sticks. Trekking pole? <laughs> <laughs> Not as good for stabbing as you'd think. Hey, would you look at that? Who's that coming down the trail? Mm-hmm. Who? Only the coolest person in Haven Springs. <laughs> look how he's walking. He walks up to you in an extremely cool way. <laughs> God's sake. His plaid jacket. Give her a kiss, will you? Swing the breeze. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> yeah. Aww. I'm not trying to get you to plan out your whole life, but if you decide you wanted to put down roots, Haven Springs will always make space for you. Was that a gardening pun? No. Maybe. <laughs> I... I really care about you, Alex. A lot. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. 
Got powers. Oh, we get to choose. Oh, we're going to give him a snog. Tongues. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, dummy. Kiss her. <laughs> Kiss her. Gives us a key scene. I really want to kiss you right now. I know. What's the emotion going to be? Gold. Boom. Oh. Okie dokie. The hell did that do? Got more magical powers. <laughs> now she's regretting not having that tic tac. Wanna rejoin the festivities? I'll get you a funnel cake. Maybe you could save me one. Yeah, of course. See you down there. Hang on. Your magical powers made the tree grow, but you've still got shitty weeds behind you that are dead. Ring ring looks. Get out. Get me the cake. <laughs> now we've got Steph to deal with. That's going to be awkward. How have you not noticed the tree has bloomed? Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, <laughs> I kissed Ryan. So, that happened. <laughs> he comes back to the ghost and goes, Ye did what? Okay. Time to see if Pike's really who he says he is. USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Oh my god. Alex? Don't make this hard. Wow. We knew it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to stop it somewhere and it's going to stop there. Yikes. Jesus. So we knew that was going to happen. There was absolutely no way it was going to be like, Ego Pike, if I was going to go, don't worry, I've got this. There was no way. It was either he was going to take it and then he was going to get pressured or he's already being paid off, which is exactly what's happening. So... I hope she made copies. I really do. Otherwise, they're screwed. And she's stupid if she didn't. Um, maybe Riley's not around because they found out that she was hacking into it. I don't know. I have no idea. But so, 
We've got a um, relationship with Ryan, which is cool. She has some sort of special growing powers, and then she's really happy, which is nice, which she hasn't noticed. Um, and Charlotte and her relationship, I'm not sure about still. I think she's still dealing with the anger, but I'm not sure it's going to have that much of an effect. I don't know. Really, what's going on here now is what's happened with Riley and how much trouble is Alex in for this and how is she going to get out of it? Okay, guys, stay safe, stay amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.